Hey everyone. Well, today Miss Olson has the last Betty Bunny story for you. This is the last one in the series that we've been reading over the spring semester and the title is Betty Bunny Loves Chocolate Cake. Once again, it was written by Michael B. Kaplan and illustrated by Stephane Jorish. Dial Books for Young Readers is the publisher, and I believe this one was copyrighted in 2011. All right, here we go. Betty Bunny was a handful. She knew this because her mother always said, Betty Bunny, you are a handful. And her father always said, Whew, your mother sure is right about that. Betty Bunny knew that her mother and father loved her, so being a handful must be very, very good. One day, after a healthy dinner of carrots, potatoes, and peas, Mother said, Who wants dessert? I have chocolate cake. Betty Bunny, who was not very good at trying new things, announced, I hate chocolate cake. Chocolate cake is yucky. What's chocolate cake? So her mother gave her a piece, and Betty Bunny tried it. <gasps> dun da da dun! It was the yummiest thing she had ever put in her mouth. <gasps> when I grow up, I am going to marry chocolate cake, said Betty Bunny. Uh, you can't marry a dessert, said her brother Henry. You could marry a baker who makes chocolate cake, added her sister Kate. Or you could just buy your cake at the store, and then you don't have to marry anyone, said her older brother Bill. Betty Bunny thought about it for a while. No, she finally said, I am going to marry chocolate cake. Whatever, said Bill. But you're going to have really weird-looking kids. That night, Betty Bunny's mother kissed her and tucked her in. Good night, Betty Bunny. I love you, she said. Betty Bunny looked up into her mother's eyes and said, Good night, Mommy. I love chocolate cake. Huh? The next day at school, Betty Bunny's teacher said, Good morning, Betty Bunny. How are you? Betty Bunny said, I'm a handful and I love chocolate cake. Oh. Her teacher said, A is for apple. B is for ball. C is for cat. Betty Bunny said, a is for chocolate cake. B is for chocolate cake. C is for chocolate cake. Oh, she got one right. During playground time, Betty Bunny tried to make chocolate cake by mixing water and dirt. It looked a little like chocolate cake. <laughs> but it didn't taste very much like chocolate cake. <laughs> Betty Bunny started to cry. I want chocolate cake, she said. Her teacher told her that they had no chocolate cake at school. Betty Bunny said, I hate school. School is yucky. After school, her mother drove her home. How was your day? she asked. I ate mud, Betty Bunny answered unhappily. I want chocolate cake. Sometimes, 
her mother explained. You can't have what you want right away, so you need to wait. And that's called having patience. But I don't want to have patience, Betty Bunny protested. I want to have chocolate cake. Hmm. Oh, well. That night at dinner, her mother told Betty Bunny she could have, she could not have dessert until she ate a healthy dinner. Now, usually Betty Bunny liked healthy food. Not tonight. Tonight, all she wanted was chocolate cake. Her father told her, don't come over to me hoping to get a different answer. Henry said, if you were smart, you'd eat some peas. Kate said, you should try some carrots. They make cake out of them too, you know. Bill said, why don't you just have some chocolate cake? That's what you really want. Oh no, wait, ha <laughs> ha, you can't, ha ha ha. Betty Bunny picked up some peas. She threw them at Henry. She threw some carrots at Kate. And worst of all, she threw mashed potatoes at Bill. Plop! And they stuck to his forehead. <gasps> Everyone was shocked. Even Betty Bunny was shocked. She hadn't really meant to do something quite so awful. Mother was not happy that Bill had teased his sister, and she was even less happy with Betty Bunny. She told Betty Bunny to go straight to bed. There would be no chocolate cake tonight. Betty Bunny screamed, This family is yucky! And then she remembered she was hungry, so quickly she crammed her mouth full of peas, carrots, and mashed potatoes and ran off to bed. When her mother came into the room to kiss her good night, she told Betty Bunny, Sweetheart, you know that I still love you. Mommy, Betty Bunny said, You know that I still love chocolate cake. Just thinking about the cake she was not eating made her cry. <laughs> And then it made her scream. I'll save you from hearing that one. Whew. And then it made her kick the wall. Ouch, which hurt her foot. <laughs> and that made her cry all over again. Betty Bunny, her mother said as she rubbed the little bunny's foot. I am going to put a piece of chocolate cake on a plate in the refrigerator. It will be your piece of cake, and you can eat it tomorrow after a healthy dinner. Maybe if you know it's there waiting for you, it will be easier to be patient. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Betty Bunny stopped crying. She liked this idea, so she wanted to say something especially nice to her mother. <laughs> okay, um, Mommy, she said, you are a handful. The next morning, Betty Bunny wanted to say goodbye to her chocolate cake before she left for school. So she opened the refrigerator and saw her piece of cake sitting on its plate. It looked so lonely. Betty Bunny knew that the cake would miss her all day while she was at school. So she picked it up and put it in her pocket. Mm. Good choice or bad choice, guys? Oh boy. At school, her teacher said, Betty Bunny, you seem very happy today. Betty Bunny <laughs> just giggled. There was chocolate cake in her pocket, and no one knew it but her. 
As Betty Bunny finished munching her last carrot at dinner that night, her mother smiled. Betty Bunny, she said, you were patient and waited all day for your cake. You ate a good dinner. I am very proud of you. Would you like to get your cake out now? Betty Bunny reached into her pocket. <gasps> Wait, what, 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 what? Her cake was gone. Instead of cake, her pocket was filled with a brown, goopy mess. My cake! <laughs> Henry said, I can't believe you put cake in your pocket. Kate said, Betty Bunny, food doesn't go in your pocket. Bill said, huh, guess you can't marry that piece of cake now. Bill's not especially helpful, is he? Her mother got her a new piece of cake, and she explained that putting cake in your pocket is not really the same as being patient. Oh, oh, Betty Bunny finally understood. And she promised from now on, she would be patient. And so the next morning, when Betty Bunny opened the refrigerator to say goodbye to her new piece of cake, she remembered, uh, 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 uh. she remembered that she couldn't put it in her pocket. No. And that is why she very carefully stuffed it into her sock. Mm. The end. Oh, poor Betty Buddy. Well, I think her mom's going to have to help her work on that patience thing a little more. All right. I hope you enjoyed those stories about Betty Bunny. I sure enjoyed reading them to you. <laughs>